Of course, and it is polished till you shine. And then the end, the amazing moment. We are yeah, just so just so. I mean, yeah, boy, for the content. Them like, let me say a big shout out to all of you for holding us down. I mean, and I mean, keeping us locked down. I mean, with the views and the God bless all of you. But then I'm kind of this one is sharp, 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 sharp. And with me, I see Nabila. I mean, I'm a journal. I'm bringing you the trendiest, I mean, the trendiest news. I mean, in Ghana, around Ghana. Today, we are digressing a bit. We are going off a bit of entertainment and we come back to the entertainment. So, quick into our story today. We are talking about, I mean, Honorable Hawa Kumsin. She is the Minister for Special, I mean, Develop. Uh, special development initiatives i mean and she's also the mp for a2 senior constituency and uh, i mean a lot of things came up i mean and in the news she was in the news for all the wrong reasons but because of the fact that she went i mean to an ec registration center in her constituency and she went to fire a gun at the constituency and as i mean gun of so so quickly let's go to twitter and read some of the things that people have said i mean have said about 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 what you see so um, this was tweeting at my brain when i then said that stone boy pulled a gun at an event and had to spend the night in a police station how kumsin pulled a gun and fired warning shot among citizens she was escorted home by the same police to eat and sleep if they didn't teach you any lesson in ghana then sit sit down yes it, <laughs> and i think he has a point though this one tweeting and says that uh frema eduyami is a journalist with city city fm and city tv she says that when the ec registration center becomes a james bond movie set we can only say good morning madam howard comes in i mean it's 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 been a lot a lot of people have been talking about this i mean this one is tweeting and it's uh, tweeting at crobo last one saying howard comes in the few women we have given power in this country will be abusing it like that you see when i say a woman who has power is very arrogant and listens to nobody people get mad at me is this the equal rights opportunity women are fighting for we move regardless and see i'm not for a boss so but for me i i, I side with what people are saying i think that i mean what this woman did was very very dishonorable if she claims to be an honorable i mean this does not fit i mean what an honorable does i mean you go to um, uh, uh, an ec registration center you are there you are there to ensure sanity you don't go there and cause fear and panic you don't strike i mean you don't fire a gun and and come and tell us that it was an act of self-defense that was crap of an excuse excuse me for my language though i mean that was very very unnecessary from from the a whole minister to have said that so i think that it was very unnecessary if i was her i think she should resign people are already calling for the president to fire her i've seen i mean civil society groups and pressure groups like imani Ghani, say part of them i mean and i support them 100 percent she, she has to be fired she has to resign she has to put down that tag as honorable and sit somewhere so that was that with how comes in i mean i mean i say hey i say fire on my uncle you're paying for number did you mean yeah my empire almost so that was how it comes to now so the trendiest thing that we making around on social media I mean, since yesterday since today it's been trended yeah poo too <laughs> so when you put from our boy you say tongues music was that empire boy what what your mama mama like in kids with me zama zama poo too zama zama peche pre 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 you go better salimo 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 <laughs> so after release of a freestyle of Stoneboy released and people reacted to it. I mean, people saw that it was good. And she has he's made it into a song. I mean, he saw how the bars, the trend, and everything. And could you tell him we say that I mean he has capitalized on the social penetration of the song to make music and make money out of it. And so I mean that, 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 that's the latest. I mean, from the camp of Stoneboy. He says, pre, pre, pre so i mean since the song dropped a lot of people have been talking about this people have been giving their feedback i mean as to how they see the whole song so quickly mr assembly there about twitter oh yeah i'm assigned twitter oh yeah that's where the reactions are going to come so quickly let me read some of the tweets that we're making rounds i mean since this whole song dropped on social media so this one tweeting that samuel also and i said that so this putu song with tongues I think Stoneboy should take this, his gospel career serious. I always feel the angels all over me when I play that song. Hashtag Putu Challenge. <laughs> um, this one says, Stoneboy they do dance all past Shatawali. 
now he wants to give us proper and sensible ax supper too very soon so shatter in career go make beans and egg hashtag i mean putu challenge this one this one says that after listening to putu by stoneboy and watching the hashtag putu challenge i want to on behalf of all Ghanaians, apologize to patapa for the numerous insults that were flung at him the scrub side self day over me so i mean people have been talking about it goes on and a lot of reactions a lot of feedback a lot of i mean takes on this but for me i think that it's brilliant for stoneboy I, I he has seen the bars and he's making money out of it whether it's sensible or not sensible that's i mean it's a debate for another day but big ups to stoneboy already i've seen him announce something like a remix and um, a remix need a stoneboy patapam baswa yenti patapam basa remix ni swa yenti so that is putu challenge and the whole the whole bars around it and i think stoneboy is doing brilliant marketing you have seen i mean the bars you have seen the the, the hype and he's even using that to market the Anoka Junction album. I, I saw him post and say that I mean he might do a remix or shoot a video, I mean, or release a video of the Anoka Junction album. So that's the trend, yes, that's the latest making right. And then the end, they just so just so fast, fast, your boy free Ramamo. So I mean, keep following us across social media. I mean, on on everywhere it's copy chain news i mean you can check us out i mean our website copychainnews.com we have interesting i mean articles there for you too you can follow my personal social media handles on instagram it's crazy underscore nabila on twitter it's crazy underscore nabila on facebook it's crazy nabila zakaria let's continue the conversation of course till i come you another time as always it is polish till you shine